G'day Aries, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as of now. See what's going on. So this is the last reading before Christmas and I'm going to take a few days off. But then I will be back to do another reading before New Year's. To close out the year. Alright. So... This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates there with your current timeline. Cross watches. This could be your energy, but if it's not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, views. Every single one of them is so greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. And, of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order I'm using them. All right, Aries. Ooh, let's get the message for you. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. And new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh, so this is a new love. You're seeing as, yes, it's a soulmate. You're feeling that chemistry and letting it unfold naturally. Well, just let go and let it unfold naturally. This chemistry here, it's a soulmate in this new love. Ooh, there he's got a new love. Healing family issues came out. Might need to heal some stuff. You'd also see the release your ex, so maybe heal that old ex energy and make sure it's all gone. Because you got this new love. Mm. Very nice. Ooh, and true love under the deck. Ooh. There is. All right, let's go. Love energy coming towards Aries. Three cards, please. One, oh, there's two, and three. Okay, they have. Oh, dear. <sighs> finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so they might be working on their finances and their career at the moment release your ex the time has come to clear your energy mm. so they might be releasing their ex maybe that was what came up for you they they are finally releasing their ex pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you uh oh Ah. Okay, so there could be some red flags regarding releasing that X. Mm. Bottom of the deck is retreats. Time to disconnect from the world. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Ooh. So they might be flirting with you, keeping an open mind here. But there's something about their belief systems here that's making them retreat. Perhaps until they clear up all this stuff with their ex. Hmm. They could be saying they're busy with work, but they're actually trying to separate from somebody. Not wanting to create red flags for you. Mm, we'll find out. Alright. Message for Aries at the bottom is... The Hermit. The Two of Wands. The Hierophant. And the Queen of Swords, air energy. Ooh. So you're doing a bit of soul searching. You're single. You're on your own. You're pretty good. You've um, 
worked on your soto side, you've done soul searching, you've, um, yeah, you've taken care of yourself, but you're not sure what you want if you want commitment here with this person. Might be you need to go within and look at, because you're unsure about commitment. Someone's got to come correctly here. You might be a bit guarded against commitment at this time. You're not open. But you've been hurt before, so that's why that sword is up. Guarding your heart. You've got to get past the sword of truth before you get to this queen's heart. Especially when it comes to commitment. So, yeah, you're at a bit of a crossroads here. Doing a bit of soul searching about what it is that you really want here. Hmm, spending some time alone with your thoughts. Okay. Thinking about what you think about commitment. Whether you want, even want a commitment. Like the traditional commitment. Hmm. Alright, let's find out about them. Finances and career. Why is that here for the love energy? Coming towards Aries, please. No, not telling us yet. There we go. Okay. here they have oh the knight of swords air energy the eight of swords and the ace of wands so their finances at the moment is a lot of work they're trying to rush through their work because it's really on their mind that they've got to get this work done finishing up for the year possibly wanting to charge into you to have this passionate new beginning, but stuck in their head about something, the actions they've got to take, yeah, they've got it. They've got work stuff to work. They're they're really busy at work. I mean, a lot of people are because it's the end of the year, so they're trying to take the fastest action they can. But it's really stressing them out because they do want to have this new beginning with you, but they're stuck at work, stuck working having to work through five of wands beating off the competition very conflicted because they want to they want to rush to you but they've got to get do this work all they do is think about this passion you beginning with you but they've got to try and focus on work to beat the competition at something I'm not feeling that it's competition with lovers or anything like that. I'm feeling it will definitely work. The star, the strength, the queen of wands, air energy, uh, sorry, fire energy, that's you. And the nine of wands, that's you, Aries, the queen of wands. Um, You are what they're wishing for, but they've got to tame that beast when it comes to you because, and build that wall up because they're so tired. They're really tired from all the work that they've got to do as much as they want to be with you. They've got to try and get the strength <laughs> up. <laughs> they wish they had the strength to be with you, but they're just so tired from all the work that they're doing. Mm, okay. All right, fair enough. You know, things get busy around this time of year, so... Hmm. All right, tell me about release your ex for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. Temperance, having to be patient, 
They're patiently releasing this, letting it blend, letting it flow. Asking you to be patient as they do release them, clear that energy out. I mean, this could be your ex, but... Ooh, Two of Swords. There's an indecision here. They don't know how long it's going to take for them to release this. Asking you to be patient. When it comes to this new beginning here. Causing confusion and illusion here. Making you wait. Memories of love with six of cups, three of one, seven of cups at the full. I mean, this could be someone from the past that you released wanting to come back. Um... They want things to blend back together between you two, but they're not sure how that's going to work. They want this new beginning here. Because uh, in the past they made you wait and there was confusion and illusion. They're wanting a new beginning with you, but... Yeah, they got left out in the cold. Yeah, because they caused burdens for you in the past and made you wait. But they do reminisce about the past. They are waiting for the right time to come in. Um, fantasizing about this new beginning with you. Hmm. I heard one of the readers saying, I think Venus is in retrograde. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're working hard on getting their finances in order. I think Venus is in retrograde, which is ten times worse than Mercury retrograde. So, yeah, we'll probably see a lot of people from the past coming back. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, definitely working hard on getting their stability back up again. So, finances and career that they're working on. Okay. Tell me about pay, pay attention to the red flags for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. Nothing yet. Okay. They have the world and the strength. Signs are cautioning you. They want to close out a cycle of, could be ego. Holding back, taming the beast. Well, the red flags, they want to close out that cycle because they've tamed that beast. If it is someone from the past, or else you, if it is someone who's releasing their ex, because I'm getting two stories. Um, it could be you see, you seeing that they want to end those red flags with you. They've just got to hold back. That's causing the red flags is that they're holding back while they release that X. They want that to end very soon. And yeah, Eight of Wands, communication. Communication could be a bit off. But they want to tell you. Could be red flags with their communication because they say they're closing out a cycle, but they're still holding back from doing that. Ego. They're still talking to that ex, but if that's you, then. <sighs> yeah, they want to close out the cycle of holding back from you and communicate. Because they know it's causing red flags. 
They want this new beginning with you, the Fool. Yeah, it's, it's causing confusion, especially for you, Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands. Ha having to wait, Three of Wands, yeah. Yeah, making you wait. You're very confident. They think you're sexy and beautiful and confident and passionate. Go after what you want. Yeah, they don't like having to make you wait and causing all this confusion here. They want to start this new beginning with you. But they're holding back at the moment. Possibly because they're releasing that ex. And they're trying to put a lot of work into um, outdoing the competition that you may have. Maybe you have a better offer. Alright, message for Aries is at the bottom. Big happy changes. Wow. Listen to your intuition. Ask your angels and trust. Wow. So you've got some big happy changes coming in with or without this person. Um, listen to your intuition. Oh, excuse me. When it comes to everything. <laughs> especially this person. Um, ask your angels if you need any more guidance or help or anything with that. And yeah, trust that you're being protected here. You've definitely got these big happy changes coming in, so trust that that's happening. But yeah, look, trust your intuition and ask your angels for help if you need it. But big happy changes, that's beautiful. Love energy coming towards Aries. What else can you tell us about them? Three cards, please. Oh, there's two. One and two. One more, please. There it is. Okay. They have not the right time. All right, so they're thinking it's not the right time. Ask your angels. So they're asking their higher self or higher spirit or whatever their belief systems are that uh, for help and guidance and reconsider. So there's something that they're going to reconsider here. They're thinking twice about which here. And that two of swords. Hmm, what's at the bottom for them? Trust. They could have trust issues, yes. <laughs> abundance and recovery. See, they're trying to recover their abundance here. Definitely work. Recovering their abundance here. Yes, the very strong yes that they are recovering their abundance. Um, trust. They're trying to trust that, yes, they can recover their abundance here. I think they're just focused on that at the moment. As much as they would like to have this passionate new beginning with you and releasing that, you know, having you wait patiently and with the indecision. And they know it's causing red flags here. They're just trying to get their finances in order at the moment. They've got work stuff they've got to do. Growing that abundance. Okay, message for Aries is the star, the hangman, the nine of pentacles, and the king of cups, water energy. So, you've done your healing and you're wishing for a relationship that's, you know, you're, you've got a wish that you want that's making you feel a bit stuck, which... You know, that's this. You're wishing for this person, but that you're stuck hanging at the moment. You're independent and stable and doing fine on your own, single, cashed up <laughs> with abundance. Like, you're doing fine. You're stable and, you know, you're doing fine. I think they're trying to match you, catch up to you. Um, 
Yeah, so you're holding back your love at the moment. You've got a lot of love for this person, but you're not showing it. You're controlling your emotions at this time. While you're single, hanging around, waiting for this wish to come in. Yeah, you're feeling a bit stuck on... Mm, I don't think you're going to wait very long, though. You just aren't really prone to <laughs> patience. Oh, the hangman again. Well, maybe you're trying to see this from a different perspective too. Trying to see it from their perspective, the fact that they are busy working. You just wish it would hurry up. <laughs> uh, but I think, it, yeah... Okay, what else? Queen of Pentacles. Earth energy. Stable, grounded, and all queens are loving. She, this is love and stability. This is what you want. This is what you are. You're ready for a committed relationship. The queen, of, queen and King of Pentacles are the two kings and queens that are definitely married and committed. So you're ready for a commitment here, ready for a long-term relationship, long-term stability. You're sitting on your throne waiting for your king to come along. <laughs> All right. Yeah, three of wands waiting. Wow. No gender here either. It's just, you know, queens are more loving, kings are more logical. All right, so tell me about not the right time for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. What's not the right time? Okay. The Hermit and the Six of Pentacles. So... Balance, give and take, and time to be single. So what? It's not the right time for them to get single and and offer balance, give and take to you. So what? They're so busy with work that I suppose breaking up with someone's probably not the best time when they're flat out with work. As much as they do want to release this, they're gonna have to be patient. Because while they're I mean, they're obviously very busy and stressed at work. So adding a breakup on top of that is probably not the best thing for them. So it's not the right time for them to become single and do soul searching and and heal from whatever this breakup is and then to give to somebody else. Plus they probably don't feel they have enough to give balance, give and take with you yet. But yeah, I'm getting it's not the right time for them to go single. Get single from that other person. Uh, page of Cups. Water energy. Yeah, and they want to apologise for that. They're so sorry. I, I just don't think they can take the added pressure. The added stress of it right now. I don't think there's anything left with that past person or whatever it was in the past that they've got to let go of. Mm, they're apologising because it's not the right time. Two of Cups, they want this love with you. Seven of Wands, and they're going to fight for it. Nine of Wands, but right now they're just so tired. Yeah, Ten of Swords... I don't think they have the energy for this painful ending. Because it's going to be a painful ending for them to release that ex. Even though, you know, it's over. It's not going to be fun. They're just too tired to end something right now. But then once they, um, yeah, once they get their fight back, they will fight for your connection. All fight to get this back. <sighs> if 
four of pentacles. They're holding back from doing anything because they're just holding on to their money. It's all, they've got to work on their money and their finances. Nine of swords, they have nightmares about not having enough money. It's work. Holding on to every coin that they can. Which is a sure way to lose it, but they're stressed about their financial situation right now. Magician, yeah, they're trying to manifest a better financial situation so they can deal with this emotional stuff that they need to deal with. But at the moment, it's all about just manifesting that money. So they haven't forgotten you and they know it's causing red flags because they haven't release their ex seven of, yeah, and they know it's causing confusion and illusion here with the seven of cups and it looks like you're just an option but you're not I'm not feeling that at all okay Tell me about Ask Your Angels for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. They have the devil. Mm. Strength, which is up there. The Queen of Cups, water energy, best love in the deck. All queens are loving. She's the queen of love. Two of swords. And the three of wands. So they're trying to ask their angels for help because they know this looks toxic. Them holding back from giving you this love here. But I'm hearing they don't have a choice. It's not that they can't choose, they don't have a choice here, they just got to wait. They have to tame that beast, unfortunately, you know, they know this looks toxic, that they're having to hold back from offering, showing you this awesome love they have for you, but they don't have a choice, it's, they've just got to wait. So they're asking their angels for help here. The lovers, because they know you're a soulmate. You're the one they want to be with. Definitely. You are the one. Two of Pentacles, but they're doing a balancing act here. I don't think they're juggling anything. I think they're trying to do a balancing act here and try and get that finances worked out. Four of Cups. Yeah, they can't offer anything right now. Judgment and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, they're trying to do a balancing act. They're not interested in any other offers but yours. And they have made that judgment call to get themselves single. Nine of cups, single, independent, emotionally independent, filling your own cups. So they have made the judgment to get themselves single. You are their wish as well. But they have made the judgment to get single. They're not interested in... Any other offers, just yours. Um, but they're just trying to do the balancing act right now with... <clears throat> okay. Now, this is the interesting one. Tell me about reconsider for this love energy coming towards Aries, please. What are they reconsidering? Judgment. Oh, reconsidering their judgment. Which we just saw. And the Knight of Wands. Oh, fire energy. Action of passion. So perhaps they're reconsidering their judgment call to get single first before they come into you passionately. Maybe they're just going to come in 
with some passionate action regardless even though they haven't released that X yet not a good move mate hmm got the Hierophant the Magician the Wheel look all mages and the Five of Swords ooh They want this commitment with you and they're trying to manifest it. But the wheel is going to turn and it's going to expose some very negative energy here. Betrayal, sabotage, head games, mind games. But that's, I think this is the ex is going to feel sabotaged and betrayed here. I don't think you're going to be too happy about it either. When the wheel turns and you find out that they haven't released that ex yet. And they're trying to manifest a commitment with you. But yeah, the wheel, yeah, I hope that wheel doesn't turn, yeah. Hmm, yeah, because see, they want to come in and commit to you. There's the king of pentacles. But they have got that crossroads there. They've got to end something here with the death card, yeah, and move on with the six of swords. And they're going to have to do it fast if they want this Two of Cups with you. Mm. As soon as this works over, they better do it. But they might reconsider coming in to see you before they've released that X. Yeah, because their angels were telling them they need to um, release that first. But I think they might be hmm, reconsidering that judgment call. All right, message for Aries at the bottom is Hand of Cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic options, not showing hand gambling. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. And the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So I think, you know, you could take a chance here. But be strategic about it. Make sure that they're, um, yeah, if they're, you're wanting this commitment with this person here. But learn from the past. Make sure that they do release that ex before you start making memories with this person. And then the relationship will evolve to the next phase and grow so this looks good but just make sure that they release that X if that's the case if it was a case of this is your X and they were making you patiently wait while they were undecisive, make sure they make a decision this time. Yeah. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Make sure that they are offering something stable and secure this time, not pa making you wait. Okay, love energy coming towards Aries. What else can you tell us? At least three cards, please. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Aww. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. So, yeah. And paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. That's nice. Bottom of the deck is coffin endings bring new beginnings exactly growth change liberation transition not today not dealing her avoiding a conversation call person boundaries still angry yeah they're avoiding ending something to have a new beginning with you not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy they know that that relationship is not enough 
receiving what you need, sorry, boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah, they know they've got to close this out, but they're just too busy at the moment to do that. Too stressed with work. They are going to move on from this because they know it's not enough. They're not doing it today, but yeah, they're avoiding it because they're too busy with work. But they know they need to end this to have a new beginning with you. And what they want with you is beautiful. So just make sure that they end that other thing correctly. And give it a bit of time. You know, you have to be patient once that ends. You can't just, you know, you don't want the ex banging on the door going, eh, you were, you know, causing dramas. You were together when we were together and blah, 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 and... No, you want them to close out the old one completely and then come towards you. No baggage <laughs> from the last relationship. All right, and then it'll be awesome. So what would you like to say, Aries? Ooh, I'm afraid you will reject me. I don't want to love you. I'm not good enough for you. And we belong together. What? You're, yeah, I think this is the doubt because there's, so, there's red flags here. Because they haven't released their ex yet. They're really busy with work. You're not getting the attention that you, you know, that would show you that this is, that they are interested in you. Um, yeah, you're feeling a bit rejected here. That they don't, that, you know, you don't know if this, is, if you want to even love this person, if this is how it's going to be. They're making you feel like you're not good enough. You know you belong together, but yeah, you're afraid it's not going to work out. Because they're putting doubt in you with this delay. You are more than good enough, so don't ever think that. Um, if they don't want to love you or you don't want to love them, fine, don't worry about it. Afraid that they'll reject you? Well, psh, you know, then they're not good enough. Yeah, you don't want to be in a relationship that's like this where you're on the edge of not knowing what's going on here. Um, worrying, well, am I not good enough? Is that what the problem is here? You know these two belong together, but they're, that's those red flags that they're... Yeah, I now know what I lost. Um, I don't know about that. Well, maybe this is showing you... Oh, we just had a big spillage. I pretend I don't care about you. Maybe you're doing that at the moment. Now, we had a big spillage on the table. All these cards came out. I've got, I'm in a codependent situation right now. Hmm. Well, I think they are. I think you know that. And that's why you're pretending you don't care. Because you know they're, well, they're busy at work and they've still got an ex in the picture. But you love their smile, don't you? Mm. All right. Love energy coming towards Aries. What would they like to say to Aries? At least three cards, please. Okay, there's two. One and two, which you've seen what they are, but I like to do the unrail. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. That's it. All right. All right. So they have. Could we start again, please? Yeah, I think they would just want to start again. I need time to heal. Yes, they will need time to heal. And to finally release that last bit of that energy of that breakup of whatever they're going through there. To clear that energy. We can work it out. They definitely want this to work out between you two. And I don't want to love you. Ooh. That's not to you. That's the X. That's that X. Which I think there could be some red flags with that. That's what they've got to try and clear up. Your energy heals me. I'm single and ready for love. Well, that's what they want to be. 
once they've healed, which I think your energy is helping them to move, that take that time to heal, they will be single and ready for love. Can we at least be friends? And I wish things were different. So I think they want to just stay friends until they are single and ready for love. Because um, your energy is helping them to heal. And they wish things were different right now, but I think they will be in the future. Oh, I don't like that. Can we at least be friends? I hope they're not trying to friend zone you and they don't decide to leave their ex. But they don't want to love that ex. They're done with them. They want to start again. When they're, when they're healed and they're single. Hmm, interesting. All right, Aries, well, that's your read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do that in screen, yeah. And, um, yeah, I'll do a f another reading after Christmas. I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to take a few days off for Christmas. And then I'll do another reading, which will come out between, yeah, after that. Before New Year's, anyway. Before New Year's, easy, before New Year's. Yeah. All right. Well, all the best. Good luck. Take care. And I'll catch you later.